Meanwhile, more than a thousand advocates of the governor's early childhood education programs also rallied at the state capitol. Their message, two key measures establishing a statewide early childhood education program will be money well spent. Although the bills do have support of state lawmakers, they currently have zero funding in the budget. Jill? Well, right now, after-school programs are not available for all middle school keiki, but Lieutenant Governor Sean Setsui is trying to change that. Setsui announced on Thursday he will try to implement an after-school program at all of Hawaii's intermediate schools. And joining us this morning with more on this initiative is Lieutenant Governor himself, Shan Setsui. Good morning to you. Thanks morning. for coming in. Good morning, Jim. So, um, yeah, I guess maybe people didn't know that there's high school, after school programs, and elementary school programs, but the middle school kids have been left out. Right, and I think, you know, a lot of folks are familiar with A+, yeah. and of course in high school there are a lot of activities for students after school, but in the middle school uh, levels, uh, a lot the programs, if they are offered at some of the schools, are really dependent on federal funding, and so there's no really comprehensive or co cohesive type of program there. Well, so I don't think you're going to find any lack of support for these middle school programs because we know that's a critical age. But uh, I think the question is funding, right? right? F funding's always an issue, I think, especially when you talk about new initiatives. And really, I think the, the idea behind this program is that we want it to be really community driven. And so, you know, when I go out to the communities, when I talk to business partners and nonprofits, they always talk about this need. And so, um, you know, I think what's going to be important is that the, the community rallies behind this program and provides all the different types of resources, financial resources, time, knowledge, um, to make sure that these programs are successful. That's going to be a difficult task, considering that everyone's tight with resources this, this time. Um, and even the early education, early childhood education, could these kinds of concepts be also used for that type of initiatives that they want to right. push? And, and these are all great programs, right? So whether it's early learning programs, whether it's after school programs for middle schools, and you know right now the legislature is going through their process in, term, in determining and trying to prioritize some of these items. Um, and so you know we're hopeful that at the end of the day with some of the good news that came out recently with the council and revenues and the uh, additional revenues that are anticipated to hit the state coffers that you know hopefully these types of programs are going to be able to uh, receive some state funding as well. And you're saying this kind of emulates something that's already in place like some of the sports programs that are now in place, maybe expanding that Right, and, and so I think if you look at uh, our high schools and intermediate schools, there are some, you know, some, some areas where we have some really good programs. We have great robotics programs out in Waialua. You have uh, Sea Rider Productions out in Waianae. Maui High School has a great science team. And, and, and with the recent creation of um, intermediate sports out in Waianae and Nanakuli, we want to be able to provide those types of opportunities throughout the state. Right, and so, but you really need the community support, is what you're actually asking. With, without a doubt, and I think that's why I'm here, because I'm here today to, you know, we're, we're, we're really launching this program now. Um, we're going to be asking the community to really get involved. We want uh, partners to, to assist us in establishing these programs at different com in different communities throughout the state. And so it's really going to have to take the, the entire state to come together uh, and make this uh, program successful. All right, well, I guess we'll have to stay tuned to see how that works out. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully people do step up and, and help out. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks. And to see this interview again, just head to the top video section of our website, KITV.com. It's now 639. We'll be right back.